how you think class change will work. Uh, you'll keep your legendary gems, you'll lose your legendary items, you'll be given a set of like basically uh, lower tier like set stuff, and then you'll grind your way back up. Uh, come out July 20th. And I'm speculating, so this part's not correct, but I'm speculating that a new class, the Blood Knight, will show up with the class change system. But that is not, that is rumor. That is not fact. And that rumor is more or less being started by me because the, the math makes sense. Barbarian? Now, probably Necromancer, or uh, Wizard from the Necromancer. But Blood Knight, if they have it, I think Blood Knight could be kind of fun. Thing is, I wonder if like everyone would change to the Blood Knight, you know what I mean? Could have been a scrap project or something though. Necro is stronger than Wizard in overall PvE? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. But Wizard just got the buff, so. It's nice for them. Is that buff really strong? I mean, changing base numbers are pretty, all, you know, always good. I don't know if it's game changing, but it's, you know, I mean, it's one of the only classes that got buff, so. Armor penetration, does every monster have armor? Yeah, so it counters basically armor and then increases crit damage. But here's the thing, armor pin might as well just read, do more damage. I'm free to play player, can't decide between barb and necro for PVP, can you help me a bit? I mean, they're both different types of things. So, Necro is if you want to be the guy who's just being as much CC as you possibly can, and you're stunlocking people as much as you can, but you're not really doing any damage. Our Barbarian is the guy that runs in there and, and is highly annoying and, you know, lives forever with his cheat death mechanic and gets in everyone's face. They're different gameplay styles entirely. Watch some videos and, and mess around with them to, like, level 16 each. Right around there. See what you think about each one of them before you really are like, yeah, this is the one. All-time favorite game ever. Love you. Oh, thank you. Um, Good question, first of all. Either RuneScape or Super Metroid. Special place in my heart for Super Smash Bros. Melee. Original Command & Conquer. A lot of Star Wars games. Star Wars Galaxies might actually be the real answer to the best game ever. If I could go back in time and replay anything at its peak, it might be Star Wars Galaxies. The amount of stuff to do is mind-blowing. The amount of people I could be, the people I could meet. Like, it felt like I was logging into a world that was a different world than the one I lived in, and I love that about Galaxies. I think that was the only game where I ever actually, like, built a character and did some role-playing and shit. Most of the other men, I was a kid even, I still got into it. But I, I think that's just because I like the Star Wars universe a whole lot. NGE, NGE ruined the game. Like, I quit playing when NGE happened. Up until NGE, the game was brilliant. Yeah, I played WoW since Burning Crusade, uh, Mr. the Pandaria, got me to get bored and quit. And then I went back, played some vanilla, got bored, downloaded Burning Crusade, maybe uh, a uh, undead, quit the game within five minutes. You know what game I used to like playing? It's a RuneScape, and you not only used to, but you still do too. Thoughts on the charm system? Oh, Seems super RNG. Yeah, the 10% is a pretty big bonus, man. I didn't realize it went all the way up to 10%, so because of that, the RNG is actually pretty crazy. And it feels very uh, confusing and, and difficult. Not satisfying. Any idea where the free-to-play paywall makes the game unplayable? Uh, literally nowhere in the game. Was Vidim item for the Helicore give block chance? How's new battle pass? Same as old battle pass, new cosmetics, basically the same thing. I also think it's weird that they still are doing offhands, like, well, I don't know why they wouldn't do a weapon or something. They did an offhand last battle pass. Free play, should I go for treasure free, paragon, or stay with bank tree? So there's some debate about treasure tree not being as good. I still like it. I do a lot of overworld farming, but if you're playing more casually and you kind of need the stats, especially if you're not like over leveled for the farm that you're in. Then you probably want to go with the stats based tree, like Thank you sure Gladiator. So if you're really into PvP, you want to go Gladiator. Alpha Ritual, the first one took me a really long time to get, then they started dropping quickly. I definitely got it before Paragon 72 though, but the Proximo Fear took me until 70 plus Paragon to get the pants. What was your highest kill streak? Like 9,300 something? the best way to gain XP overall once your dailies are done, exactly what you're watching. Which class is the most annoying for you in PvP? That's a good question. 
I want to say probably Barbarian, just because I think I've been triggered more times by how long they stay alive than I've been triggered by anything else in PvP. Although Black Hole from Mage gets me pretty annoyed because it feels really, really hard to have counterplay around. Rank 10 Shield Choice, help me please. What class? Necro? Well, I mean, most of the... What level are you? Because if you're not that high level yet, and you don't have like any Legendary Shields, then you probably want to take like Baleful Trinity. But if you're one of the higher levels, then I would pick just, I would just take it as one of the ones you don't have yet to get the essence transfer. Is it normal to get one shot like that? So, the game has a mechanic that will automatically counter your handsomeness and IQ. So it has an in-game detection that will look at your face, it'll detect your face. And if you are an attractive person with symmetry in it, you'll get one shot. Or if you're completely hideous, but super fucking smart, you'll do the same thing. However, if you're a necromancer, it doesn't work and you, you are literally immune. Unless you're both super handsome and super smart, and then it will one-shot even necromancers. No!